Welcome to Tech Ambassadors. I'm Jordan Chankis from the ARC Westchester. And Tech Ambassadors is a real fast-paced way to help people with cognitive disabilities learn how to use personal technology for very practical things, for workplace uses, uh, day services, for planning, for their care coordination sessions. You name it, we'll cover it. We have a lot of technology webinars that we've already done and you can check it out at this URL right in front of you, arcwestchester.org slash technology. Now let's talk about the app for the day. This is an app called Corculus and it's available for iOS on the App Store for iOS phone and also for tablets. And the idea of it is that it's a visual idea display. And if you think of a cork board that you may have in your office right now, and you have pins placed in, and you have all kinds of things, might be in random order, it might be connected, but that's the idea, the format for this application. It's very easy to use. And for the user, it's trying to understand very complex topics in a visual way. Okay. After you set up your cork board, your corkulous board, it exports to its own format or PDF or a JPEG. So there's lots of ways to use it and share it with others. So when I open up the app, and the app, by the way, is pretty uh, affordable. There's a professional version that has an annual subscription that's not much money at all. So. I'd encourage you to go for the professional one. It gives you more options as far as the number of pieces that you can put around. So this is the first thing that you see is an example of a corkulous board. Nothing there right now except for the example. But let me add a new board by hitting this plus sign here. That gives me the choice of what kind of board do I want as far as its shape you know, square landscape, blah, 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 all these different choices. Once I've chosen one, and I'm going with just the simple square, I come up with a new board, and I can, if I click that, and I can rename it to whatever I want, so it's unique. So here's my board. You'll notice underneath the board is this little file drawer. And that's an important thing because that has all the tools that you use when you make changes to the cork board. And I'll show you in a second how that works. After you tap on that little drawer, it expands to this list of things. And it includes things like sticky notes, index cards, uh, pictures, all kinds of things. Yarn, and I'll show you how you use that. You can add URLs, all kinds of emojis, and you can actually, if you have an Apple Pencil, you can make sketches. I went into the sticky drawer that's in that file cabinet and I pulled out some sticky notes. And I have ones that are going to be used for a imaginary person-centered planning session with a guy named John. So here's John in the middle. I, Add the sticky note and then just click on it and I can edit it. And I'm showing the arrangement of his close family members. Here's Susan, his mom, and Harry, his dad, his sister's over here. I just keep reaching into my drawer to uh, get more sticky notes. So I added the grandma. And look what I've also added. From this yarn, I'm starting to attach things. So I'm showing the relationships. So I'm showing that John is very close to all these people. And if you've ever seen a crime drama on TV lately, you'll see that they have big cork boards or white boards with all kinds of connections to evidence of the crime. This is the same principle. It lets you stay, uh, stand back, take a look at things, how they're arranged, and how they relate to each other. You can add pictures. You can take a photo or go into your existing files and add photos to this page. You know, for some people, you can get ultimately digital and just use 
the pictures here instead of the sticky note descriptions. So now we have the arrangement of the very the people that are closest to John and now we can start even describing them more using uh, this little feature here, this little side note. I can identify what people do. So here I know that uh, his aunt, Gwen, takes John to the movies. That's pretty cool. While I'm analyzing all of this, on the side I pull out an index card and I start reminding myself of some of the assignments that everybody's going to have. The members of John's circle, they're not here, they're just for the initial meeting, but they're going to help him through his life. So, you know, what kind of things are they going to be working on? What's the meeting schedule for this person-centered plan? And we've asked John to start making a list of all the strengths that he has and also what he needs help with. Now, this may seem rather small, but if you're using an iPad, you can pinch and stretch to any size that you want. And if you connect your iPad to a display, that's even better because you get a huge corkboard that you can share with a room full of people. So now we have those relationships. We have the note up there. I have the assignments. Then, oh, look, here I went into this little bookmark kind of thing and pulled out that John may want to talk to the folks at Ark of Westchester. And with that note of Ark of Westchester is also included the URL for Ark of Westchester, so you'll be able to keep track of that. As I'm going through this, I want to make sure that I save this. I can send a copy to the members of the team. I can print it. And uh, maybe you do want pictures of some people. Here's my handsome mug right below Ark Westchester, but it might ha uh, help the person that's at the center of the planning remember who everybody is and what their function is. All different ways that you could use this. It's not just for person-centered planning. You could also use it for doing task analysis visually. You could do it for a schedule of the day. You could do a recipe board, doing a recipe step-by-step visually and showing how things relate to each other. For example, here's Harry's dad, right? Harry's dad and, well, Harry the dead, I'm sorry. <laughs> John's father, Harry. They both have an interest in baseball. So you could put a little square here, a little sticky note that says baseball, and that's something that they both sharing. Oh, I don't want to be misogynist or sexist. Gwen, his aunt, also loves baseball. So we can make a connecting line there. And next thing you know, here's another connecting line from Grandma Helen. She enjoys baseball too. In fact, we could get a whole crowd of people going to a baseball game one day. So you make any connections, any relationships that you find helpful. At the end, like we said before, PDF. Uh, image, just pure text, or you can export it as a cork board and share it with someone else that has the program. A great resource, very affordable, really encourage it to be used by everybody in lots of different areas. When you think of how many folks we have that have limited literacy, it really helps to give them every visual tool that we can possibly come up with to help with their learning and understanding of their daily lives, their daily wishes and hopes and dreams. So check it out, Corculus, on the App Store. Our next session is going to be on September the 18th at 3.15 p.m. I look forward to seeing you all here back again on September the 18th. Thanks for your attention. Thanks for being a tech ambassador.